Here in this video, we are going to discuss structure to hierarchical pattern overview. So structure data means the data will be in the form of RDBMS that means it will be coming in form of rows and this hierarchical means the data will be converted in the Hadoop format that is our JSON format or XML format. So that is our hierarchical format. So here these patterns are falling under the data organization pattern. So as a result of that here we will be having one interface of the data and that will be transferred to the another interface of data. So this transforming will be done here in this case from the structured data to the hierarchical data. So let us go for more uh, discussion on this topic. What is structured to hierarchical pattern? So this pattern creates new records from a totally different structure. So new records will be in the hierarchical format but from a different structure that is our structured. So using this pattern we can convert row based data into hierarchical data like your JSON or XML because we know that in case of RDBMS data that is a structured data so data will be represented in multiple rows. So we convert the data from the RDBMS to the Hadoop system and we need to use this type of design patterns. Structure to hierarchical pattern structure. So to add multiple data sources into one hierarchical data, we can use a Hadoop class called multiple inputs. It may happen that we will be dealing with multiple input sets, input data sets. In those cases, we require one Hadoop class. The Hadoop class is multiple inputs which is available in this respective package. The mapper class takes the data and parses the records into one cohesive format. So mapper will take the structured data and it will parse that one and it will be converted to the respective one cohesive format which will be helping the reducer to do the needful next. The reducer will take data from the different sources and using the keys and it will create XML or JSON from the data using the selected keys. So this particular reducer will take the output of the mapper and now it will be converting it to the respective hierarchical format that is either in the form of JSON or XML. So now let us discuss this with one diagram. You can find that here we are having the data set A, we are having the data set B. So depending upon the size of this data sets, the number of input splits will be decided. So here we are having three input splits and that is why we require data set A mapper and three such mappers. And for this input splits, we require data set B mappers and two such mappers. So now its output will be like this. There is a post ID comma post data. It might be say parent ID comma child data. So this particular mapper will produce output in the form of key value pairs. Now the shuffle and short, there is a shuffling and shorting will take place. And now we are having this hierarchy reducer because we are supposed to convert this one in the respective hierarchical format. So that's why we are having this hierarchical reducer and then the output part will be obtained as the final output. So in this particular discussion, we have discussed only the overview, but in the next video, we'll be discussing how to implement it. So please watch the next video for the implementation process. Thanks for watching this.